Swimming in nature like this, it, it's just, it's like nothing you'll ever experience in a, a pool, um, almost to the point of like meditation. You know, you swim out 10 or 20 minutes, you're concentrating on, you know, your breathing, um, how you're moving, and then you just go into this kind of flow state. And especially in somewhere like this, just clarity and just the, the pleasure of being by yourself, no technology. I mean, an amazing, an amazing experience, and especially to do it one after another like we've been doing. You really get into this rhythm of, of um, well, just this rhythm of being and not worrying about anything else. Activities like this, I mean, it might be the smallest thing, you know, just putting a video, collect, creating a video, talking about cold water swimming, talking about being in nature, being with your friends, and, you know, having been in a nourishing environment. Yet that can have a huge impact because it gives people permission. And that's the one thing I'm learning is if you can give people permission to do something positive, then people will go and do it. Of course, it has to be safe. Of course, it has to be calculated. You can't just be shooting from the hip, but if you can if you can present to present good positive um, routines, good positive habits, good positive events, then people will take it up, and people will go out and again develop and grow their own me mental and physical fitness. Over the next 24 hours, the declassified team will be swimming in 13 different wild and open water swimming locations. From lakes and quarries to caves, rivers, and some of the most stunning beaches our coastline has to offer. It's adventure and exploration less than two hours from our front door. For me, wild swimming has always been a place to get away, to find real freedom in movement and breathing and it also allows a busy mind to calm down and realign. 10 years ago, when I first started, I did it for the physical side, not fully understanding the benefits and improvements swimming like this would have on my mental fitness. It's such a beautiful lake to swim in, a real privilege, especially with all the wildlife. It's so clean and there's so many of these places around. You know, within a couple of miles of where you live, you can get somewhere safe and secure. Exactly like this. Perfect. Can you do that? Oh yeah, stunning. Absolutely amazing. I've not swam for ages, so. I've been swimming in the That's sea. That is so much easier. In there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so lovely. refreshing, just like. It's a lot easier because it's shallower as well. Plus you're not worried if you take a little bit of water on the night because you know, you're still beginning. It, it will do different things. You know, you'll go into a sea or you go into a marine pool um, or you go into a quarry or whatever, but they're all different, but all equally is amazing. Like the perspective you get when you're there at that level in the Thames, sun shining, <laughs> boats going past, wildlife, perfect. Zaldo like sat cross-legged on the wall meditating like Bodhi in Point Break or what? Although swimming can appear solitary, it is in fact best shared with mates. It doesn't have to be an intense training session. It could be a gentle swim where you catch up and reconnect. The UK has some of the finest wild swimming and this marine pool is a fantastic example. The salt water is a great way to soothe body and mind and as the sun goes down, it's an amazing end to day one.
It's been absolutely superb. How privileged we are to be able to get here today. I think this is our fourth spot now. And then get out there, get some really good swimming. We've been to loads of fresh water sites. This is our first salt water, as you can see, coming from that uh, marine lake straight across into the river. Probably one of the best views you can have when you're swimming. Really nice sunset. It doesn't get much better than this. Really good. Like Des just said, we've done four swims so far, and now it's time to head to the south coast. Daredle door. The door of Daredle. It's about half four in the morning, quarter five. Get in there, get swam through, and then head out into the Manor Wall, which is just the bay next door. All of us on this trip have come from different backgrounds and have different swimming abilities, yet all have said exactly the same. Exposure to cold water really does lift the spirits and removes all of our stresses and concerns. Swimming like this really does change the conversation. The feeling you get when you put yourself in situations like this can be called euphoric. We only managed a few hours sleep the night before, but this more than made up for it. If you look at it, what we've got, we've got nature, we're with our friends. It's cold water, but it's, it's beautiful. And then we're exploring, exploration, that's what we're here for. And this is, um, oh, this typifies it, this is it. Two hours away from our door. Science has proved that physical activity protects the brain. Movement releases endorphins. Cold water reduces stress levels. And spending time in nature, amongst other things, supports the immune system. But what came out of this trip? Well, it reinforced that having fun with friends alongside physical activity, adventure, and challenging ourselves really does optimize our well being. It also backed up that while swimming, allows you to breathe, focus, and almost meditate yourself into a relaxed state, which in turn improves both your physical and mental health. I think one of the main things is just to do it. Don't worry about how you look or what kit you've got. Even if you just go in and bathe, you know, and you just splash about and meet her in. You just want to get out, get into, get into nature, get into the uh, the coldness really of of the sea or a lake, and just get out there and do it. It's such an amazing experience, like, exhilarating really. And you've got to ask yourself, when are you most happiest? And most people will say when you're at a beach with your family, or you know you, you're on a walk and you're by a, a, a river or a lake, and there's some certainly in that. Um, just makes you. <laughs> Just, it just makes you happy to be like this. We hope you've enjoyed this film and it inspires you to get out there. Please let us know what you get up to. And if you'd like to know more about how to develop your mental fitness, please visit www.declassified.network or at Declass Network across all social media channels.